what is going on guys just got a video today covering the HAL launcher which is basically a launcher that is based on the Android TV interface as you can see it looks a lot like it with the way that it's laid out with the tiles etc it's you can grab it from the Android TV Play Store so you can just go ahead to the Play Store that is on your shield do a search for HAL launcher and you will find that this is the icon that you need to be um, installing I've already got it installed and set as my default launcher it does tell you in the settings how you set it as your default launcher I'll stick that at the end of the video but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and open it as I said mine's already set up so yours will look a little bit different with the categories you'll have um, most recent apps and a few other things like that what you want to do to customize this is you want to go right to the bottom and you want to go to preferences then you want to hit the settings you got three sections you want to go to the middle section and you just want to go to the app list first now as I said mine looks a little bit different but I'm gonna go ahead and delete these and start from scratch so the sections that you have there already that are a little bit different to mine but that doesn't matter you just want to go ahead select them all unless you want to keep them if you want to keep them sections then don't select them if you don't want to keep them and you want to start from fresh and have everything your own um, customized then go ahead and tick them all and you just want to select the remove button now you've got an empty area here basically you want to go to the top here you want to select new group I'm going to go ahead and call this sports and I'm going to hit the OK button and there we go we've got sports I'm going to do the same again and this time I'm gonna make TV and let me just try and find the and button on this air mouse TV and movies now to do this I'm just using standard air mouse you could do it using the shield controller as well but it'll just be a little bit more fiddler take you a little bit more time I'm gonna go ahead and add one more which will be misc I'll go ahead and press OK now there are my three um, areas that I've set up now to move these around you want to select the item and this arrow here you just want to press it pressing the one with the two arrows on takes it directly to the bottom pressing the one with the two arrows at the top takes it directly to the top once you've got that where you want it you want to do the same with the others make sure they're nice and organized your preference tab is always going to be there so you don't have to worry about that not appearing in this list it's going to always be there as default now on this left hand side it will show you all the apps that you have got installed on your shield like everything from the google play store to play movies and tv all your settings there's your, your two home screens that's your android tv home screen and that's your HAL launcher home screen you've got your google search your network settings everything that you need now to get these put into categories all you need to do is make sure you highlight the category that you want to put the apps in then you want to select the apps that you want in there so again I'm going to select all the apps that I would put in my sports category go all the way through your list make sure you don't forget anything and you just want to select this button here that says add 
and it drags them across to this section here now I will go back to the home screen as you can see they've now moved across to that side you can arrange these in the order that you want them as well I'll show you how to do that now so we want to go back into settings app list and to have these arranged in the order that you'd like it's the exact same process as it was organizing the position of the tiles so I personally would like my SPMC app to be the first app so I'm going to take that all the way to the top I don't mind where all the rest go and there we go there's my sports category sorted out now you can duplicate apps you can put the same app in every category if you wanted that isn't a problem so I'm now going to sort out my TV and movies again I'm just gonna add the, the apps that I would categorize for TV and movies And again, once I've selected what I want, I'm going to press the add button and there we go. They've now added onto here. Again, I'm just going to quickly move them around the way that I'd like them to be. Untick all your items once you're done and you can move along again to the next category. Here, I'm going to add all my settings and my um, ES File Explorer apps and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just add these quickly. And there we go. I've got all these added in here now. I've got them in the order that I want them to be. I'm just going to quickly add one more group, which I forgot to add at the beginning, which is gaming. going to put that in the right position that I want it and I'm just going to quickly add the shield hub to that and I'm also going to add coder because that is the um, application I will be using to run my retro mania build that I'm going to download later on so there we go we've got everything categorized and sorted out the way we want it I'll now go ahead to the main home screen and this is how everything's laid out as I said, you can choose yourself how you want this to be. Next up, you can customise it further by choosing your own colours, adding a custom background and stuff like that. So you want to go to your settings, go to your customise tile and you want to go to the UI theme. Here you will see this. You've got options to hide the sidebar. Um, hide the text stuff like that I personally keep them checked but you can have them not on there if you want now for the background I've decided to add an image so to get this um, I'm sure it's get content um, yeah complete you action using documents what I've done previous to this is I saved an image which I wanted to use for the background to my ES file explorer I just saved it in a folder so I know where to get to it basically what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to navigate by using the ES file explorer um, I'm sure I'll put it yeah I'll put it in my downloads folder and it's this file here obviously you can choose which folder you put it in yourself but I selected the download folder so all I'm going to do is I'm going to select that background and you can see up here that it has changed to that background 
if you didn't want a background you could choose a colour now this is a little bit annoying to get your perfect colour so what I suggest is I'll leave a link in the description for a FF colour picker chart and basically um, just pick your colour off that chart and it will give you the code once you've got the code just put it in here and it will select that colour for you that's the easiest way I can suggest that you do it if you're going to pick a colour because moving the slider and messing around with it it doesn't give you any preview until you've actually selected the colour so it can be a little bit annoying if you're looking for a specific colour so I will leave that in the link down below just a, a basic FF colour picker chart it'll help you a lot now the overlay of the background image I'm going to ignore that I'm just going to leave it clear the background of the sidebar now I've decided previous to this that I want to go with the Nvidia colours which are black and green so I'm going to have my, my sidebar a green colour so give me a second I'm just going to get my iPad and I'm going to get up the FF colour chart So here we go, I'll just show you what it looks like. This here is the HTML colour picker. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a colour from here. So I want that NVIDIA green, which is like a neon green. I'm just going to mess around with these till I get the perfect colour. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and this number here is the number which you need to be putting into um, the HAL launcher settings so I'm going to leave this at FF this area here I'm going to type in that code so the code that it gave me was oh a F nine zero A. So as you can see, these have changed automatically because I've put the right code in. And basically, I'm basically gonna select the OK button and there we go. Can you see it's changed to green? I'm gonna do this again for this one it's set to default orange now I know that I want this to be black so I'm just going to bring all my colours down here and that should hopefully give me a black colour yep there we go background of icon now this for for anyone who's curious is can you see the blue around there these tiles that's the colour of the background icon so I'm going to personally change that to black as well. So I know that all I need to do is slide all the tiles back down here to get a black colour. Select OK. And we'll go and have a check. And you will see that they have all now gone black instead of blue. background of the text bar now this is the bottom bit of the tile for each app where the text is and sticking with my color theme I'm going to use the exact same green that I used above so I'm going to go to color I'm going to leave the FF code there and I'm going to put in there the exact same code which was 0 a F it would help if I'd done the caps zero A F 
9090 A. As you can see, these have changed again, so you know that it's the right code. And there we go, we've got the green again. That's everything that's customizable in this option. As you can see, these have changed to green. The bottom bits have turned, turned green. The background of the tile has turned black. You can see here that the picture that I've chosen from ES File Explorer has changed in the background and that's everything customised. It's took 15 minutes all in all to do that. Making make If you want to do this quickly, decide what colours you want to use beforehand. If you want to mess about with it, try all different colours. It took me ages to decide on this colour myself, but eventually that's what I decided on. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show you guys. I think this is quite handy, simply because you, there's some apps that you do have to sideload to the Shield TV. And not all of them show up on the Android TV launcher. Using this method, you've got constant easy access to all of your apps, not just the ones that are compatible with the Android TV, is it the Lean Back launcher? You can access them all. I'm just going to show you quickly how you go about setting this as your default launcher. You want to go to your settings, how launcher settings, and you want to select this here. Use apps. Use app as home app. Once you've selected this, you want to press the home button on your controller and it will give you a pop up saying HAL launcher or default launcher. You want to make sure, as it says just below here, that you select the default launcher as the HAL launcher and make sure that you select always. That way, when you press your home button, you will always come to the, the HAL launcher and not the Android TV launcher. So yeah, that wraps up how to get completely set up with the HAL launcher. I do recommend trying it. It's a lot easier to use, a lot cleaner and it's customisable. So for me, that's three wins. Thanks for watching guys and I hope this has helped you out.